What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am Ross and in this lesson today we are going to be covering the reason behind and how we came to this 400 point trade on GJ. So as the intro stated we are going to be covering how we came to this 400 point trade essentially what the process was that we um, found this trade idea we're going to show you some of the team members that took the trade as well and of course we will walk you through the whole process so let's get into it so the first thing that we have done here we've jumped onto a fresh chart so we're going to walk you through what we want to see from any given chart and how we came to the overall decision to take the sell from that position so the first thing you can see here guys is that we are on the 15 minute chart on the British pound to Japanese yen. Now this is where we were on Sunday. You can see that we've cut price back to early hours of Monday morning, as essentially we wanted to give you an idea of what we saw prior to taking this trade, not on the day of the trade. So the first thing that we really want to talk about, and we have spoke about in many of our live streams, we spoke about it um, inside of our Discord, in some of our other videos as well. If you haven't, go and check those out. But really what we like to do is we like to find swing points uh, that essentially have broken structure. So it gives us a very strong range. Now just to quickly cover if people don't know what swing points are. Swing points are where you've had a clear change in direction and price has shifted from a buy side market into a sell side market. Therefore telling us that that high is a swing. The easiest way to determine this, if you've had an uptrend, you look for an upward structure or a high to be taken out, and then you look for the low of the structure that shifted that high to be taken out and price to continue down, giving you your swing point. So that's enough of that, but what we do is we look for the high and low to be part of a range. So for example here, you can see we clearly have a swing high and we clearly have a swing low. This is the break of the uh, low that that range caused and then we'd look for shorts to follow that range now in this case the shorts weren't delivered and price shifted lower but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about the 400 points that we caught on tuesday or it may have been wednesday not 100 percent on that one we will pop the order up on the screen when we cover the actual trade position itself but let's just talk about where we were when we spoke about price on Sunday. Now the first thing that we recognized was that we broke out of this major low here and we put in a high right here which we recognized as a shift in overall direction because we were trending up here. We then started trending down, we then came back up to then eventually come back down below this low. So we understood that this high was significant and this low was significant as well. Now when we broke out of this range which we did over here we understood that these structural points are relevant but at the same time they're happening inside of a high and low major range so they are only substructures now what you'll see is price comes back up into the high of this range and it displaces lower now once it had displaced lower, we had a pretty good idea that we are in a very bearish market here and overall price is moving down. So what we were looking to do was capitalize on this expansion to the downside. Now simply all we done to uh, establish a reasonable bias for the week was say to ourselves, where was our last shift in structure? And you can see that we were clearly traveling down here, putting in lower lows and lower highs and then we came back above a previous high giving us a lower swing point and we waited for a higher swing point to be established which essentially is here because we took this high right here and these highs and then we broke down down and down over all so we know that this range has a swing at the high and it took out a swing low telling us that this is a clearly shift in market direction you can also see there's a lot of momentum here because you have imbalances in these candles um, you can see that there is a clear directional bias for us so what we did is we waited for the market to open up and essentially we wanted to see what the market was going to give us when it opened 
So what we'll do is we will take a look at what the market did during the first open session. You can see that we play out here quite nicely. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Now we actually come up and we put in a triple top. Now this triple top to me immediately said we are coming back up above this level. Now many people will trade away from these areas, which is completely fine. But for me and the way that I trade, it's not something that I would look to do. I would look for price to come above this level and essentially travel in that direction. You can see the direction the momentum is moving in, which is down. Um, we displaced heavily below this overall low right here. So I straight away said to myself, okay, well, I would like to see a serious break of structure to the downside, which we got in the form of this shift and over here when we took out this low. And that tells me that this swing is major. We can also look towards a new low being created, which would give us what? A swing at the high and a swing at the low. And that gives us the magic mixture of what we were looking for at the very beginning, which is a swing high, breaking a major structure in this case, a swing low. And then we look for that price to push higher into this. If it doesn't pull back, then that's fine. We'll look at the newly established range if it establishes one. But overall, we are looking for price to play back into these areas. Now, there's a couple of different reasons. If we have come up here, and we've taken out previous structural highs and the high of the upwards move itself, so here, we understand that the highs are being manipulated by big players and that their true narrative and intention is to take price lower. Now, in this case, we identify an area, oh, let me get rid of that. We identify an area above which has had significant shifts lower now in this case you can see we have this rather large wick which is actually a news wick now in this overall scenario this news wick to me was not that important so i was looking more at this order block now this order block is the last up candle before the down move you can see that the candle after it wicked the high and like i say ignoring the candle during news because it's not true price action it's uh, more of a manipulation during the news. So we are not gonna be paying too much attention to that wick. Now, I'm just going to adjust this so we don't have to look at it going across the whole screen. And we will get down to business. Now, we understand that this is our high and we have established this by price putting in a new low and shifting below serious structure. So now we want to find the next low and you can see that we put in a low, a high, then another low, then we took this high, right? So because we took this high, we understand that we've done what? We've come from a sell moving market into a buy moving market telling us that this is a shift in direction or a shift in order flow. Therefore, it's a much more probable low to be taken when market shifts back in that direction again if it shifts back in that direction now let me just mark these up quickly so lg stands for liquidity grab because we are grabbing liquidity off of the low prior to breaking structure in the opposite direction now what we're looking for is price to tap into this higher area now of course we were monitoring areas around here we were monitoring these smaller areas but these were all to be watched for a reaction they are not somewhere you'd look to just enter aggressively now for anybody that has been in the live streams with me and in the discord you will know that we will enter aggressively if we have a clear significant high um, we're not talking about any substructures or sub moves so for example we wouldn't enter aggressively here why because it's clearly in a downward trend we don't want to be entering um, at this level we want to be entering where we've had a clear shift from buy into sell now that is why because we understand that the market makers or the market movers are putting their orders at this level and they're more than likely going to redistribute those orders again once price comes into that level 
So what we did was we waited for price to push higher and we had our sights clearly set on this level. Now I know there was a couple of our members that took short term sales away from this area, but I advised against it overall due to the liquidity. But again, everybody's trading style is unique. Um, you'll see we did have a, a reasonable drop away from there. This is the 15 minute chart. So if you're trading the one minute, you could have caught some reasonable movement there. But really, I just wanted to catch the big move. And you can see as well the way that price is inducing people to sell here, building up that liquidity, and then it sweeps above and takes it. Now, with that, we were aware that price wanted to come up and tap into here. Now, when price is running up to our areas, whether this now this is again something that you can use this system on the one minute, you can use it on the hourly, you can use it on the daily, and it is simply finding a shift in order flow from one side shifting order flow to the other side and making sure that these high and low areas so our swing high swing low making sure that they have been responsible for a wipeout of a major structure that is how you establish your direction and that's how you establish your overall range for price currently now we do have sub ranges and all that kind of stuff smaller time frame ranges substructures but we're not going to go into that um, today we just want to make sure that you guys understand how we got this and Essentially, I encourage you guys to go and test this out yourself because the results from purely structural understanding is significant, let alone adding in all of the other aspects. So the momentum and imbalance and obviously liquidity, and then you can top it off with fundamentals and trading sessions. But that is going to be down to each person. So we have this clear area of liquidity being built up across here. Now, we know this is liquidity because price is struggling to significantly pull back. We're also taking barely uh, any of the lows. So we've said this before, if we're trending up like this, you will find there are lows that will sweep below, giving you short term um, significant lows or highs or short term swings, depending on how you're looking at the market, what time frame you're looking at. Now, at this point, I had an order set and we actually spoke about this in the live stream. Um, so you can go and check that out. Uh, but I have my order set with my stop above this wick high just to be safe and I was aiming for this low. Now what you'll see is price actually taps in and drops down significantly. Now this to me was a pretty good sign and I did actually take some partials off. I wasn't expecting price to push back up into this POI again but you will see that it actually does displace higher slightly before the true sell move comes in. Now, many of my members took this trade and we will drop some of those images up on the screen now. And we also took this trade ourselves, and I will drop the order right there so you guys can see it again. We're not going to be showing profits or anything like that. We're not here to show you how much we've made. We're here to show you how we're doing it um, so you guys can do it as well. And essentially, it was as simple as that. We found our swing structural high, our swing structural low, looked for the significance, looked for the reason that price may want to come and take out the price action that it created on the way up. And then we executed off of that. Now there were a couple of other elements uh, thrown in on top, but that was stuff that we uh, keep for our Discord community, but you can join completely free. So make sure if you want to take a look at the description down below because that is where the links are. So. Just a quick video guys, just wanted to demonstrate to you sh this to you. I would like you to go and test this out if you are new to this overall understanding in price. Um, essentially all we're doing is finding a shift in order flow from one side to the other, then looking for a clear imbalance from this area. If we don't have imbalance from the area, it tells us that there is not a huge amount of volume. You want to look for powerful displacements from this high or from this low, depending on what you're looking to do, whether you're looking to buy or sell. And based off of that, you can either wait for confirmation entries or enter aggressively. It's completely up to you. So thank you for joining me, guys. If you have liked this video, make sure you drop a comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.